Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the capacitive drop power supply. This is sometime also called the transformer less power supply or cap drop power supply. We will understand how you are going to design the capacitive drop power supply by using LT spice and how you are going to run the simulation and let's let's understand how this supply capacitive drop power supply works okay so so if you look at this circuit this is very simple circuit wherein the input spec is 230 volt vrms 50 hertz this is this is our input and we want to design the power supply of 12 volt output and 20 milliampere current so this is our input and uh, output requirement our specification our input is 230 volt rms 50 hertz and the output is 12 volt and 20 milliampere so let us understand how you're gonna design your capacitive drop power supply for this requirement and if you look at this at the the input side i call this v in and this is a sinusoidal signal with the peak amplitude of 50 hertz so if i right click on here so if you right click on here you see its amplitude is 325 volt and the frequency is 50 hertz that means 230 volt rms rm rms i'm applying here and uh, this is r1 this is called the current limiting resistance okay so this limits the current of the capacitor c1 and the current of the capacitor c2 during the turn on of the power supply okay and this r2 then then we have the capacitor c1 this is basically called the dropping capacitance it drops most of the voltage across it and in parallel with c1 we have the r2 this is called the the discharge resistance it discharges the capacitance okay now we have the full wave rectifier you see here there is a four diode connectors connected in this fashion and uh, the output of this bridge rectifier if you look at this this is the 12 volt Gina diode d5 this is the Gina diode of 12 volt and at the output i have connected the 100 microfarad capacitor and this is the load r4 is the load which is 600 ohm now if you look at from input you have the inverse limiting resistor then capacitive drop this c1 is called cap drop and then in parallel with c1 we have the r2 resistor then we have this bridge diode or bridge rectifier and then the 12 volt gener and this is the output capacitor and the load okay so this is very simple circuit here and uh, if you talk about this capacitor c1 this is basically ac film capacitor with polypropylene dielectric film and it is also called mkp capacitor and that are most commonly used capacitor for these kind of application Okay. so one note i would like a remark or warning i would like to give here is this design is for educational purpose this power supply is non-isolated and do not try to build it capacitive drop power supply may lead to the electrical shock if this is not dealt property okay so be careful if you are building but it's not recommended by us go and try this power supply this this is only for educational purpose right and now if you look at here c1 the c1 plays an importance role here and if you talk about the Deactance of C1 x C1 equals to 1 divided by 2 pi Fc and since your frequency is 50 Hertz and C value is 330 nanofarad and if you if you calculate the reactance you will get some value here the reactance value and this 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 drops most of its input voltage I'm gonna show you while in the simulation how how much voltage is there across this C1 resistance okay now everything is clear you understood about the spec what is your input and output requirement and you understood about the different component to be used in capacitive power supply what components you are gonna use what is this uh, which type of capacitor you're gonna use here and why do you need Gina diode
okay now uh, let me run the simulation so go at simulate uh, edit simulation command and you have to select the transient time using thousand millisecond at stop time and I click OK then I'll go simulate run simulation and uh, let me go at here window tile window vertically and uh, let me show you the different now voltage and current waveform so let me first show you the input signal so this is your input signal here and uh, this is sinusoidal signal if you look at this this is 230 volt 325 volt peak to peak signal if you look at higher higher peak is 325 and uh, lower peak is minus 325 and uh, if you look at the voltage across this capacitor let me show you drag and drop in order to measure the voltage okay so if I remove this if I remove this if you look at this point the voltage across the capacitor it is most of the voltage dropping across this capacitor let me show you the amplitude of the voltage drop across the capacitor it's 311 can you see guys the amplitude here is 311 uh, at the positive cycle and more or less 311 is the negative cycle and if you now if you look at the output this is our output let me for the zoom this you have some output ripple but if you look at this this is around 12 volt at output you can see and uh, let me show you the current uh, output current it's around 20 milliampere if you see your uh, the current is 20 milliampere load current is 20 milliampere and the output voltage more or less is 12 volt okay now so what you can see here the drop across this capacitor c1 is more because of the capacitive reactance if you click here the drop across c1 is you are gonna get around 310 volt your 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 peak voltage is 325 volt but if you look uh, look at the drop peak drop across this capacitor is 310 volt and uh, the, this is 310 volt and at, at output you are getting the 12 volt here you are getting the 12 volt and the current is around 20 milliampere okay guys so that is how you can design the capacitive power supply for your application if you are uh, if you are having any non isolated if you want to design any low low voltage and low current non isolated uh, transformer levels power supply you can design the capacitive drop power supply but ideally it is not recommended because non isolated supply may give you the electrical shock so be careful understand your application before choosing this topology for your design this capacitive drop topology for your for your design okay so this is the very simple design uh, one simple capacitor one simple capacitor drops most of its input voltage across its because of the capacitive reactance and the selection of this this type of capacitor is very important otherwise it's gonna fail in the mass production so you have to use the AC film capacitors with poly propylene dielectric film and if you know typically about its MKP type capacitor are most commonly used capacitor for this application